you're like, hey, did you, you took the speaker? I was like, yeah, I figured you wouldn't mind. You said maybe next time you ask first, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like like right. you would say, you know. Um, and then uh, I eventually brought it back, and and then as I'm like in your parents' like living room area putting the speaker back together, your dad comes out and says, hey, Chris, and he's like, he's not friendly about it. He's like oh, pissed, geez. you know, and and like. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, just putting this thing back. And he's like, oh, okay. Did Eric let you borrow that? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great, right? So I'm just, I'm just really batting a thousand here. Um, so he goes upstairs or whatever. And then you come up and you're pissed at me too. So, um, and then that's pretty much the whole dream. So it was horrible. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and i was like i was like woke up real shook up and i was like dad damn his dad i was mad at your dad for some reason like i was like this fucking asshole <laughs> i love it when people get irrationally Matt. upset at people in real life for things that happened in dreams that's always rational yeah. like or like or that like you're mad at them because they're mad because you were a dick <laughs> what the fuck Fuck him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dreams are such a funny thing, man. <laughs> it's weird, right? You can see your dad's grumpy face. Oh, good, we're live. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I was trying real hard to to slow you down to make sure that happened, and then I realized it was gonna happen regardless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. No net uh, audio. No <laughs> audio. Can, can, can you hear uh, the rest Nat of us? Nat is conveying that he is uh, disappointed. Can you hear us? Yes, you can there hear the go. rest of us. Welcome, all you lords and ladies of fate. In this stream, we do things. The things that you are about to watch right here I'm with I'm your I'm own I'm peepers. I'm so sit down. And get ready and get those thumbs or your typing fingers ready. If you use a keyboard with your thumbs, that's, you know what? Good on you. Uh, like uh, type in uh, exclamation point redeem to redeem awesome stuff and make us do silly wow. things. Wow, 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 wow. Tonight we're playing rifts. <laughs> I did that all without a script. Bravo. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to do the intro because the intro is already done. We ran through it with the intro video thanks to our very handy dandy uh billy f and wildstar uh, except cleeds i guess i'll introduce cleeds because he wasn't in that intro yet so uh yeah toby's playing his cleeds the cactus gambler hello all right uh we left off a few weeks ago now uh you guys were uh searching the uh the now ruins of Bumbledore. Uh, the Dwarven Kingdom that is uh, just overrun with traps. Uh, you were able to find a uh, vampire that came out and, and randomly attacked. Got some uh, pretty intense items, thanks to our Mr. Goliath Man uh, for his redemptions. And uh, a couple of other interesting uh, things. The party is currently split. However... Um, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit better. Uh, we will start this evening with our group of Ermidin, Billy, and Cleese, who just got finished exploring the catacombs. Yeah, we found a whole bunch of nothing. Yes. Um, I believe we were going to start making our way towards the rest of the group. I believe that is true. That, to the uh, hallway we have not explored yet. 
Anybody doing anything along the yep. way to getting here? Yes. All right. What you got? I want to grab two barrels and bring them along. Okay. Uh, so these barrels are about as big as you are. How do you? Uh, I'm strong. You are strong. How how do you, you like you know just huff, heft them over your shoulders and just uh, yeah you know just over the shoulders. Okay. Okay. Then we'll bring you to the other. Well, I want to leave them at the top of the steps there. Okay. And then come over through here. There we go. Get this one out of here. Just, just make the trip a little less inconvenient. Yep. Why is that not working? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Perfect. We're here. You see Jimothy standing outside of a doorway. I'll wave. The dog waves at you. Very peculiar. <laughs> nice tricks you've taught him. Uh, he taught himself. Fair enough. Wicked smart. What is this a door that uh got shot in or is this a spike door? Uh this is the door that had the spike that shot through. Okay. But we don't know that yet or um, as the trap I, are I thought you guys already like you, well there's a hole in it. And then you guys reached in and unlocked it. So it's basically open at this point. Nobody shut it. Looks like they went that okay. way. I mean, Jimothy will tell you that Rongus and Dwyer went down there. They said they wanted some alone time. I'm not surprised. If that's the case, let's, let's check out up here. <laughs> yeah, we leave them. They told me to told me to guard the door, make sure no one else came in. All right. Um. Yeah, so move yourselves to where you're going to be uh, placed, or where you want to move to, and I will reveal what you see. Can I mine this uh, gold ore in the wall? Uh, that's a light. <laughs> like a torch. Oh, well, that's stupid. I mean... Who puts a torch in a cave? Yeah. All right, so you got this big pillar in the center, but uh, it looks like it splits one side. You can see a set of steps. I'm, I'm so sorry. the 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 whole the whole the whole chat thing was really get, getting to me. So what's going <laughs> you're not on there here? Yet. You're in, you're in the other group. Okay, good. Feel free good, to good, good. To good, good. <laughs> I think Billy and I are going to approach the steps, check out this room. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna like position myself here to look down the steps before I go down. Oh, uh, nah, Mr. Goliath wants you to roll uh, d20. Sure. All right, we got a twelve. Hope it's a hope it's a good That's one. That's good, right? No, oh, jeez. Uh, at the top of the steps, you see a set of double doors. I'm gonna mostly go on up top. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the to the door and and see if I can hear anything. All right. Go ahead and give me a perception roll. I will. I will cover it. Twelve. Um, okay. Uh, so from 
from that side of the door, uh, you know, you've done this a couple times. You, you kind of have a general idea of, of the way different rooms can sound a little bit without something actually happening behind it. Uh, in the sense of you can tell whether or not a door is, you know, uh, holds like a like a large room or something that's that's more smaller and enclosed. Uh, this seems uh, bigger, more open than the previous doors that you've listened to. Okay, I'm gonna check the door for a trap. All right, give us a roll. Ninety. 90. Uh, what's your skill level? Uh, it is thirty-seven uh, percent. Ooh, Mister Goliath, man, that is dangerous in this game. Um, let me think about that. I mean, you can nerf you can nerf it a little bit or however much you want. I just like having a button. Yeah. I like having a button. I gotta think about fifteen that seconds. <laughs> fifteen seconds is funny. <laughs> fifteen seconds for like an hour. <laughs> that just encourages him to use it more. <laughs> right. We look at what happened last time we gave Dwyer a button. <laughs> He will press it. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, sorry. What was your uh, skill percentage? Uh, Thirty-seven percent. Thirty-seven. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, this door seems totally good. You know. You know. You don't see anything that indicates that there'd be any kind of trap attached to this. You are very sure this is a safe door. All right, Irma. Why don't you go ahead and we'll cover you. <laughs> He is back in the cavern a little bit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, look I'm gonna, behind. I'm going to open no the door. All right. Open the door, and it looks like it's uh, like a greeting hall for some kind of business. Uh, there's a couple tables in the four corners uh, that look like they're set up for um, kind of like little small samplings. They're like four little beat-off booths or something. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, do I see anything useful in this place? Not really. It's pretty barren. I mean, there's some glasses, you know, like the, the reception desk there, uh, has some, some, uh, some glasses behind it. And, and uh, again, there's a couple little kegs back there. So you could pour yourself a drink. All right, let's do that. All right. Please, what are you doing? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I guess I'll look around the room. Make sure there's no, like... Secret exits or anything? Uh, there's no secret exits. There are double doors, um, you know, to the, the north of where you guys are, and a set of double doors to the south of where you guys are. The ones to the south are already open. Do I hear anything? Uh, you hear, um, it sounds like there's something f kind of faintly moving around down the end of the hall. But it's a little, it's a little ways away. I will uh, telepathically let Billy know that uh, I hear movement down this hallway. Just the. Thanks for the follow, Firestorm. Hey, thanks for that. Thanks for that follow, fire, Firestorm. That's awesome. Spam that. Spam. Yeah. Throw those hearts in chat. You're gonna get it twice from Lords and Ladies of Fate. Watch. Oh, Pew 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 pew. <laughs> I'm I've hijacked the lights of the piece of fate handle. <laughs> All right. Um. 
sorry, what were you saying? Uh, we said the do uh, there's the two doors, and you heard the noise from the southern doorway? Yes. Uh, were you uh, if, yeah, go ahead. if my um, land navigation doesn't fail me, I think that's just the same tunnel that uh, uh, we were told not to go down. So um, while he's in that tunnel, we should probably go up this way and see what's up to the north. Good. Good plan. All right. All right. So, uh, Ermadin, roll me, uh, roll me a d20 perception check. Okay. Six. So as you start rounding this corner. Oops, wrong thing again. Reveal the area. Another vampire lurches out and lunges ah. at you. Okay, I'll kill it. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. No, yeah, I'll kill it. It swipes at you and misses. You get a free opportunity well, to attack. I I want to parry him. We don't have to parry if he doesn't hit. Oh, but okay. you can strike him now. So, strike. Oh. Uh, jeez. I didn't update my strike bonus. We are a bit calm tonight, aren't we? It's only because Ron gets That's true. <laughs> yeah. Calmer than you, dude. 16. Just, just, just wait. Wait till I get that Calmer than you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that should... That should hit. Go ahead and roll your uh, your damage. All right. Um, uh, it's been so long since I hit the or attack something. It's been a bit. 46. It's mostly just been traps attacking you guys. Twenty-five. Right. Uh, so this this vampire, you know, he looks uh, very savage, much like the last one you guys saw. Uh, very wild eyes, uh, bald head, um, you know, and he's and he's just kind of slinking around, uh, and you know, he, he swiped at you, missed, and you swung your hammer back around and smashed into its ribs, crushing some of them. And it kind of looks at you and gives a a mean hiss. Oh, good. I don't like him anyway. Meanwhile, everybody roll initiative, except for Dwyer and Rungus. Well, I guess Dwyer and Rungus can still run roll initiative. Yeah! Yeah, I love being included. <laughs> um, I get a plus to that, don't I? Yes, I do. I also got a 10. Okay, two 10s. Fight to the death. Going last. Nope, the Three. vampire's going last. Seven. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, so so I got Billy and Cleese first. And then where's my turn order thingy? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Nah. Do this the old-fashioned way. Where did it go? I want to 
no. Nothing, yo. What'd you get? Oh, you got seven. I got a seven. Dwyer. Modest. Rungus. Okay. Uh, so, Billy, as you uh, start walking back down to, to check out that other side of that cavern, you start to hear that commotion uh, just from uh, the, around the last area you saw Ermadon before you guys entered the room. Okay. Am I able to uh, make a move? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to get up, sneak up on the vampire. All right. And I want to just jam the silver sword I got through its head from behind. All right. Give me a strike roll. Ooh. <laughs> One. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, as you pull the sword out, you, it gets caught kind of in the in your your uh, your belt or wherever you're holding it, and uh, it, it kind of slips out of your hand onto the ground. Uh oh. Okay. Bouncing up and slicing you for twenty <laughs> points of damage. And now it is aware that you're there. Uh, please, you're up. All right, vampire's dead. <laughs> I am a professional vampire hunter. This is why you yeah, invited like, him. I... <laughs> there was a there was a weird pause there. It was like oh, I'm a professional vampire hunter. <laughs> <laughs> now for his 58 attacks in one attack round. No, I am going to move over, though, and I will use my magic bow to shoot is that it with the arrows. Thing that, is it the thing that, that, that took out that entire swarm of, of whatever no. outside? No, no, this is a regular bow and arrow that shoots regular wooden arrows. Oh. Which, against vampires, are a bunch of flying little stakes. Oh, yeah, well. Not as visually impressive, but efficient. Anyway, I'll try. <laughs> All right. Okay. There's a there's a net twenty, and they're all, all right. at plus so seven. So a couple go whizzing by the heads of your friends. <laughs> uh, three of them make contact. One directly in its chest by its heart, making it freeze automatically and fall down to the ground. Immobile. That was some quick combat. It's oh, it's uh, dead. It is in uh, a state of suspended animation. I'm smashing its head in. Uh, that's not. That's not how 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 you do it. <laughs> I don't think that's stopping him. I'm sorry. I thought D&D was made <laughs> by whatever I want to do maybe happening if the GM... Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh no, I'm, tell I'm telling you in character, that's not how you do it. Yeah, you can actually, you can totally smash his head. <laughs> yeah, in character, I'm listening while smashing its head in. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll take the body and burn it. I need you to pick up all those pieces, get it into one pile, and then burn that pile. If I'm picking up your brain matter, I'll drag the I'm, body I'm, away. I'm just gonna look at everything. <laughs> Where are you moving the body? Oh, shit. To? Uh, just are these? Egg, yep. These are stairs going up. Oh. Uh, probably over here then. Where at? <clears throat> Over here. Okay. Yes. 
I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start a body burn pile over here. We'll have to we'll have to start a head burn pile somewhere else. I would stay red. Uh, I'm just gonna pour alcohol everywhere and light it on fire. All right, make sure you get all of it. Okay. We got some ventilation in here. This probably isn't gonna smell too good. <laughs> it is in the middle of a cave. Uh, it will be fine. I'm gonna drink some alcohol and spread it around. <laughs> you'll be you'd be surprised. Hey, I have a environmental suit, so I can just. That's true. He's got filters. Seal that. Yeah. Actually, I think Billy does too. All right. Uh, so you know these uh these. Bodies. It, it takes a little bit. While uh, you guys are doing that, I'm going to flip back over to uh, Rungus and Dwyer. Uh, I believe there was a uh, dimensional door book that you had opened and uh, almost got sucked through. Did something come out? Um, did something come out? Oh, the pizza box. Yeah, I was just a box. Oh, it was a. It's it's. Whatever pizza you you want, no, that's right. Random okay, pizza. I think it's random. I thought I thought I thought it was whatever pizza you needed or wanted. I, I well, I'll point. tell you when I opened it, I didn't get fish pizza, raw fish pizza. So no, because I think I handed you an already open box. Of pizza. Oh, you're right. We need to experiment. We do. We do. That's not in see. Character. Mr. Goliath that's Man is saying us. yes. Uh huh. This is his pizza box. I think he would know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so you're still holding the book? Uh, yeah, uh, what, 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 uh, uh, what, we got, so, I, I don't know how the box of pizza came out of the book. I, you shouldn't leave me alone, really. I mean, this is, where, where are you going? I'm trying, trying for some reason, I lost my guy. <laughs> I don't know where he goes, there he is, sorry. <laughs> The reason it's moving the screen around when I'm trying to move the guy. Okay, uh, whatever. Because don't put me back in the room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to move one foot forward. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? That was really, really, really stressful. I, it, was. it was. I think. Hold on. Hold on. Where's that jar? Oh, here it is. Okay, there we go. Let me just. Okay. Rory, you don't have to smoke right now. Listen, li listen. I've I've been going through a lot of changes. I've been doing a lot of thinking. You, do do you think that fish god? Do you think that fish god took took my body away from me? Do you think it's his fault? Do you think I should go back there? Maybe I should fight him. Uh, that's a good question. I I I don't really know the answer to the first question because. Uh, but I know you got some of your body back. You still got your tail. Oh, oh God, it's still there. Okay, oh, we'll, oh. we'll figure so, uh, this out. That, that figure this out. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm just stressing out. I just need to mellow. I just need to chill. There we go. It's it's. It, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. C could you hand me the book? <sighs> yeah. Here. We're here. You go. Okay. Uh, do I? What is any writing on the book? Uh, lots of portal stuff. But uh, no, the actual like the writing is in Dwarvish, which you can't understand. So, but there's like a, like a symbols okay, that look so, like portals uh, and stuff on it. All right, stand back, Dwar. I'm gonna open it away from me. All right, as you open it away from you, a vortex begins to form and start to pull. What do we got here? A oh, one-liner for Dwar. Uh, got it. A vortex starts to form and. St Things start to get sucked uh, inside from the table. Here, close it. Getting stronger and stronger close the longer it. you have it open. Close it. All right, I'll close, close it. it. Close it. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so last time we opened it, something came out. This time, it wanted things back. I don't want to give anything back. The pizza box is everything. I don't disagree. <laughs> you know what? Struggle is the enemy. But this... And then Dwyer holds up the jar filled with all of the joints that keep magically refilling. This is the remedy. Mm. That too. And he points to the pizza box. 
I think we should protect these at all costs. Mm. Okay. I know we're here for something. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be killing some vampires, but everything's kind of a crazy mushroom haze dream. Yeah. In the last uh, day or two. I feel like I haven't killed a vampire. Have you killed a vampire? I haven't seen any vampires. Yeah, it's kind of lame. I mean, at least we found this cool stuff. It's Let's go of... find Let's go find the guys and tell them that we found a really cool book that sucks. Uh, awesome box suck. of pizza. And and we can maybe talk about showing them the jar, but we'll we'll discuss that later. Yeah, I agree. We should find somebody who remembers what happened two days ago. Yes. In the group, it, we we are probably not the best people to lead us right now. I well, I don't know if I don't know if I wanna. Uh, uh, remember? Yeah, I mean. Wait, do you remember two days ago? What if I did something to deserve turning back into this ugly piece of shit? Last thing I remember, I was sitting at a table and someone offered me tea. Oh, yeah. And it's mushroom. We did want to party. Mm -hmm. mm. And we made it here. So we were obviously doing really good. Yeah. All right, let's go find him. Uh, where's the dog? Oh, right. He's on the other side of that. Collapsed door. Um. And yeah. Uh, did you find? Did you see anything else in the other room? Like I know I I came up here. You went the other way. There was uh there was like a desk. Uh, it was just like a entranceway to some sort of what seemed to be some sort of reception area. Hmm. Uh, I didn't explore too much behind the desk. It seemed to be something behind the desk. Um, we could go back there and look. Is there anything? You see anything else here? I mean, it's like there's this weird gray fog preventing me from seeing anything around here. I feel like we're in this dang. I, I can't observe I feel, anything. I feel like we're in this very dangerous, nebulous area. Of like, how far do we push this without a a, a, a DM? Yeah, do we do do we do we just just go and then see what happens later? Um. Uh, uh, I think we have to stay in this room. Right? I, that's 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 that's, that's, think, that's what I'm thinking. But oh no, here we go. Here we go. We were we were we were contemplating how far we could we could push forward. What else was in the Just large chest going. under the table? You, you got this. The biggest oh, yeah, pair of no, breasts uh, fall chat, down yeah. upon you. Chat is now the GM. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot believe that hey. we won the game. It was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Like when I won aliens that one time. Oh man, we All killed right. the Splugorth, everybody. Uh -oh. Good devil right. and Mr. Goliath game. man are plotting. <laughs> this is oh. not. This does not oh. bode well for us. No. Okay. Okay, um, so, so we're gonna go back to the other reception area. You want to check it out? Well, I mean, I just, like I said, I think we should go back and we should try to find the guys and we should tell them about the book that sucks and the pizza box and we, the, the, and then, then that's it. And then the third thing we can, you know, yeah, we got to find them. We got to figure out a way to get, cause we can't go back the way we original way we came cause the, the door collapsed cause of that trap, but we fed the, there was another door in the area that you didn't go to the reception area. So maybe we can find them through there. We don't have anywhere else to go. This is a dead end, right? We're looking, do we see any uh, other do. ways out of this room? There's a the way we small in? doorway up here, and then there's a doorway oh. over here. Oh, except for these two doors, <laughs> <laughs> right here. Oh, uh, uh, hmm. you want to check them out? I mean, we're already here. We found uh, so much. What happens if we find like, like? Like a jar of whiskey that never, never goes away. Then we've got everything we'll ever need. Yeah. Maybe a never-ending steak. Yeah, we could keep looking. Did, that too. <laughs> Did you hear something? It sounded like the wind. Not getting what it wanted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say this, this door up here on my left. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to walk up to it and just... Wiggle this the one? handle a little bit. See if anything happens. Yeah. See if anything uh, happens. Nothing happens when you wiggle the door except that it's open. So you can open it. All right. I'm going to take a step back and try to kick the door in. All right. Give me a strength check. 
Ooh, get an XP drop for Rungus. Oh, no. Dude, dude, this is not a and skill check, right? Double redeemed XP boost for nobody at all. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> That's... How much experience uh, do I lose? Wow. That? That's probably a the thousand. most... <laughs> That, that. <laughs> this is what you could have okay. had. So uh, that's great. This is P E, uh, right? P so I'm rolling. P -S. Six should have been a reroll. Thirty-three Come is on. my value. I'm rolling a hundred. Yeah, D twenty uh, right? for this. Be an optimist, not a pessimist. Yep. D twenty. Come oh. on. My my P S is a is a thirty-three. Okay, so got... Plus eighteen for for yeah, yeah, yeah. melee. I think it says. So we'll add that to it. So what'd you get? Uh, 16? Okay, yeah, you smash the door. Uh, uh -huh. it, it's just in pieces. Okay. Ah! No freaking trap this time! That's right? true. No trap this time. But you just see a hallway. Right. Okay. Uh, Dwyer, we go this way, or you want to check out another door? I was just about to ask, <clears throat> ask you the same question. I'm thinking pepperoni. Uh, I'm thinking raw fish. <laughs> Open the pizza box. <laughs> it is. Uh, hold on. <laughs> it's mushrooms. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were wrong. <laughs> Maybe maybe mushrooms is the genetic mix between pepperoni and raw fish, man. You ever think know, about let me, that? Let me have half that pizza, I'll tell you. Okay. I like mushrooms. Wait a minute, these aren't the same mushrooms from yesterday, are Ooh, they? Random. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't eat them. I'm going to go ahead and eat it All anyway. Right. Actually, I'm not gonna not eat that. <laughs> pizza. Start pizza. You. you notice that more pizza starts to fall out of the box, and more pizza, and more pizza, and more pizza, and it doesn't seem like it's stopping. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, it's a lot of pizza. Uh, glory, glory! What a hell of a way to die! <laughs> I got an idea. Dwyer, get out of the way. Throw the pizza box. I'll suck it back into the book. Okay. I'm going to open the book. Try to All suck right. the pizza the box back in. The book opens up. The vortex uh, sucks the pizza box back inside. Uh, guys, I've just been notified from above that we've exceeded the amount of times we can say suck tonight. So that was literally the last time anyone can say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, uh... When when <laughs> when the when the book when the book hoovered that uh, that pizza box did it also hoover up all of the uh, uh, yes. the pizza yep. as well or is this room well, still like half full of pizza? The, uh, the book for. I mean, I feel like I, I feel like we we had it open for 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 a little bit there. He open. said it's he said he said pizza. Oh, close it! Close it! Close it! You sucked all the pizza. It's okay. Fuck. It would have drowned it's, you. It's all gone. You do. Everything. You still have, you still have that never-ending jar of weed, though. No. Everything I love just keeps getting taken from me and taken from me, and I'm I'm done, and I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to barrel through this door right here as fast as I possibly can. Okay. My intention is to, if there is room on the other side, to keep running and just not stop if I don't have uh, to. Well, hold on. Why is this not working? Come on. Click on that. I need that. <laughs> hold on a second. Let me refresh here. My button's not responding. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, good devil. I'm telling you, that thing that thing is secure at all times. When we started talking about going back to the group, I had already hid it in my pack underneath everything. There's no way. That 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 is a, a treasure number one. 
That is that Give is D20, protect at all costs. Yep. Me? Yep. Uh, just flat? Okay. 17. Uh, as you burst through the door, you manage to catch your footing. Uh, but it's a bunch of steps beyond the door. I'm going to keep running um, uh, down the steps in a, a just a pouty mess. Okay. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Give me my body. This stupid pizza. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm just going to keep on running. Um, I'm going to say that I'm not paying attention very much to where I'm going. So if you would like to impose any kind of check or roll for, to, to see if well, I like first, run into anything. You enter this uh, other large cavernous room. And this looks like a cavern. Like this, this is not well uh, uh, manicured as far as the stonework that you've seen in the other areas. This is, this is like a natural underground cavern with, again, giant mushrooms everywhere. So some of these are much taller than you. Some of them are much smaller than you. Uh, and there's they're all over the place. So uh, give me give me a D4 roll. D4. Two. Two. Okay. Um, so you run to the left. Uh, what up this uh, yep. path going north here? So from there, there's some more steps and a ledge. Uh, Rungus, what are you doing? I'm sighing deeply. <sighs> I guess I'll follow him. <laughs> I'll follow him slowly. <laughs> Fire, come back! All right. You also uh, see this large open cavern with Dwyer off in the distance a little bit there. Can I see what he's running uh, You can see there looks like there's a wall up that way, but it, it's kind of hard to see much detail beyond that. What the... Dwyer, stop! Dwyer's too much in his head to hear anything. Give me a second. Let me see if there's anything I can do about this. <laughs> How heavy are you? Um. Oh, never mind. Uh, I can't do it. It doesn't work on me. On, actually, I, there is something I can do. Um. 60 feet. Is he farther than 60 feet away? Is he within 60 feet? Yes. Okay. I'd like to cast Ice Wall, connecting the two walls in front. Uh that are on either side of him, but so it casts the wall in front of him to stop okay. him. Okay. So something like right here. Yep, that's right. All right. Hey, let me see how high I can make it. Well, you need the 420 so, jar for that. If I can make this. <laughs> oh, right, right. He's got the jar. And, it keeps and it's about a 15-foot side-by-side gap, if that makes a difference for your spell. Okay, let me see. It's 8 by 8 by 4 feet thick, um, but I can extend it. Per level. It's 8 by 8 by 4 for, per level, and I'm level 4? Yep, so I can go 32 by 32 by 16. So 32 feet high, 32 feet long, 16 feet thick. That's a thick wall. So I'll go as, as high as hot. Is, is the yes. ceiling more than 32 feet tall? Okay, so I'm not going to make it super thick, but I'm just going to make it so it covers the full doorway okay. so he can't fly over. With that, I'm going to switch back over to the other group. I like this piece. So we got Good. Billy. And Ermadin and Cleese and Jimothy. Yeah, the... Jimothy is gonna move up. Okay. Uh, the 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 piles are, are smoldering at this point. You feel pretty confident that they will 
finish their job and nothing is going to regenerate as a result of this. Uh, this area has been sanctified. I'll put my bow away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are you guys going from here? Uh, it looks like these are steps going up. They are. They are steps going up. Why does it always do that? I don't want to hide. I want to reveal. What the? There we go. Uh, so you see uh, what appears to be like a storage area up here with many more barrels. All right, let's go up there and check that area out. Okay. Uh, generally speaking, uh, there's tons of them there. Uh, and then there's a set of steps leading to uh, the right. Can I uh, knock on a few of the barrels to, to see if anything sounds off? They are full. Damn it, no secret passages. All right, I'm going to start heading over this way to the other pair of steps. All right, Armadin and please, what are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, I'll follow along. All right. Place yourselves, place yourselves. Timothy is going to be on the, uh, the lookout for any vampire-like sounds or smells. Okay. Is he, is he trained in vampire tracking? Uh, <laughs> he does have track humanoid. Good. Uh, he's not detecting anything at the moment. Uh, Ermslayer, it's kind of moved you along. But, uh, so Bill, you're heading up the steps? There's a set of doors at the top of the steps. All right. Uh, I'm going to put my ear up to that door as well. Um... So through this, you hear the sounds of a little bit of, like, water, running water on the other side. Vampires don't usually like water. It's true. Uh, well, it, it, I'm sure it sounds like liquids. We don't know that it's necessarily water, so... Uh, could be a piss pyre. Yeah, that, that could be bad. Or like we're right under like someone's cistern. Alright, I'm gonna slowly open the door but not go through it. Okay. You turn the knob, it clicks, and inside reveals what appears to be a brewery. Uh, there's several areas where there's graded floors. Uh, there's a balcony uh, level up at the top. Uh, and underneath the center graded floor, you can hear, uh, and, and if you look peer down, you can see what appears to be like an underground river flowing through the center of this. Okay. I'm going to, um, before they get too far, I'm just going to move up the top of the steps and wait for okay. them. Please, what are you doing? Uh, if you're muted, I think. I will enter the room. Okay, you see the same Timothy. thing. Uh, lots of giant barrels, bigger than each of you. Um, with lots of copper tubing and stuff going from barrel to barrel. Could I use my a brewing skill to see what they're brewing? Sure. I needed a fifty-five. I got a sixty-one. Um, 
You can tell it's a beer. Um, yeah, with the information that you have, that's about what you can tell at this point. Okay. I'm going to follow uh, Billy up the steps, I think. Okay. Um, so from that vantage point, you can pretty much see most of the other side of the distillery. The walkway goes all the way down and around um, the backside and with another set of steps on the other end. Leading back down to uh, a little alcove there that you can't quite see around that corner. Ooh. I'm going to head over to that corner. Okay, that reveals... A door. Set of double doors. And these, like, um, slots next on the wall, are they just, like, open holes? Or is it just, um, like a barrel or something? They're just, like, um, like, uh, places that are, like, like certain tools and stuff are, are hung up there for their, for the brewing stations. Okay. All right, I'm going to head down here. All right. So far, nothing else is going on. Uh, yep. And these are <laughs> steps or a door? Those are, that's a door. Okay. I'm going to listen to that door. All right. Uh, beyond that door, you actually hear some talking. Uh, give me a perception roll. 15. Okay. Uh, you hear the voices of Dwyer and Rungus on the other side. I'm going to bang on the door and go, woo! It's a spooky ghost. <laughs> uh, Dwyer Drungus, give me a perception check. What door? Oh, okay. You don't see the door yet. Okay. Got it, okay. Um, I'm two in my feels. 13. Uh, Rungus, you hear something. You're not sure what. Dwight, you need to stop! There's something on the other side of that wall! I, like, come to a stop at the ice wall and just... <sighs> we have to get ourselves together. Whatever's on the other side of that wall, we have to work together. You need to stop running away! What? What's the point? What's the point? The point? The point is that we are on the quest to save the universe. Thanks. And and you you have a duty to your, your people. Remember? Yeah. Here's the thing. You have to go back and rescue him from pirates. Longus. We're supposed to save the universe. What has the universe ever done for you? I mean, the universe made you eat your parents and subjugated your people to a horrible, horrible existence. And the rest of them corrupted the, 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 the universe corrupted your home planet. And we had to go and, 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 and set that right. What has the universe ever done for us? So, uh, some of that story was wrong, but the point is, <laughs> the point is that the universe... Did, did your, did your parents die or did they not? They did die, yes. Horrifically? But I chose to eat them. Horrifically? Yes. The universe did that. Yep. 
You wouldn't have had to have eaten your parents if your parents were still here. Yes. This is true. But we wouldn't be on this quest. We wouldn't have found each other. We wouldn't have learned what it means to be heroes. And, you know, this universe, this living, isn't about being easy. It's about being. It's worth it. It's worth it to work towards something that's bigger than you and what you want. Does he hear the spooky ghost? I don't pick him up by his by his collar. I'm his curious collar at this point if they hear us like clear as day at this point. <laughs> There's an ice wall between us. Yep. That is true. That is true. I want to pick you up by your shirt and say, uh, oh. you were doing really good. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I was. I you're was really working, powerful. I was you're a really good hero. Maybe I was working towards like something. Into a song to tell him about this. <clears throat> Redemption in chat. Oh <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, there's nothing specific. You're just gonna have to. You're just gonna figure it out, dude. This is the best way. Just do it. You've got. You've. You've got me, and I'm just. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Re resisting the urge to say two words that's just going to turn everybody the hell away from this. <laughs> you can be my hero, baby. You could kiss away my fear. Oh, yeah. Oh, kiss your fears. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this twice. Oh, wait. <laughs> now had the time of my life, and I and I owe it all to you. I'm gonna start spinning him. <laughs> So You're right. <laughs> You're right. I'm being such an asshole. I'm being so selfish just because I didn't get what I want. You're 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 so right. This is This is why I I I like you so much. This is this is one of your most redeeming now, Billy qualities. And uh Cleese from uh, the outside of the door, it sounds like they're getting murdered in the other room. <laughs> I know, I'm really good at this. Hold on, guys, we're coming, we'll save you! We better get in there. <laughs> you yeah, I'm gonna voices? open the door. As, as you open the Is door, a water, bucket of water huh? just pours down on top of Dwyer and Rungus. It's like flash <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> oh, so refreshing. I'm gonna go like Rungus's this. nipples are hard. <laughs> uh, Vige, I think I think fuck is versatile. I think it can be many different <laughs> articles of speech. <laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put you down gently. You're 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 absolutely right. Uh I just, it's, it, it's been a lot and it happened so quick. And then it was all, it was on the backs of the, the, the hallucinogenics. And then, and then I kept getting pumped full of alcohol and then the pot. I, 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 oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was hearing myself. I was like, what, 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 uh, um, it was the, pot. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, that was a hell of a mushroom trip. Dream. Yeah, yeah. But just, we came uh, out stronger on the other side, and and in some random place. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm quite there yet, but together. But I think, I think as long as I have you at my back. Yeah, I think, we, I, think I, I think I can do it. We gotta do it together. All right, are you gonna get rid of this goddamn ice wall so we can get the hell out of here, or do you want to go I, back the way we came? I think I, I heard Billy on the other side of the wall. Did you? It's not like I a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard someone saying they were coming to help us. 
We don't need any help. I know. I mean, we we're too strong, tell him, Blue. Tell him that. See, no. You're we blue, are one strong Blue Sea and one abomination. I'm trying real hard here, Rungus. I'm trying I mean, real hands. hard. Hands now, Blue Sea hands. Ah! 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 Uh, you're, 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 you're halfway, like, really, really, like, normal, and the other way, just, just <laughs> really bad. You know what? It's, it, but it's, it's getting better. I am just, you know what? Let, let's just go. Let's just go. I'm done. Uh, we, we've got, I, I have no more emotion left. Yeah. This is a good sign. Now you have yeah. two blue sea parts. The fish yeah. god is returning your true new form. Is this true? What was, was it? Was it Callum or Jollum? Sorry. Was it, was it Callum or Jollum? Uh, the first one. Callum? Callum. Was Callum? Callum? Jalum was the one we had to help. That was corrupted. Callum was the first one we saw that gave you the wish. And then Jalum gave you something else at the end. Because you were already a blue sea at the end. No. I didn't become a blue sea until the very end. Oh, yeah? Oh, then, that so, was, then it was Jalum. Jalum? Jalum gave that to me? Okay. Maybe. You think maybe I haven't been... Have been faithful to Jalum. How do you worship Jalum? Maybe I should start. What? It was the first god that turned you, godfish that I, turned you into a blue sea. I thought he was a blue sea for most of that time. Yeah, you definitely were. Was I? Yeah, because we were in the uh, sub, Macho Man sub, and uh, that yeah. You, you were definitely uh, Blue Sea after we found the first fish. You, you, you don't need to worship the gods of my world. They they don't need you to worship them. How to know their do you value. explain this abomination that I am? Uh, probably because we're flipping between universes and our feeble bodies are suffering for it. I might be losing my mind. You're right. It's fine. We're Let's fine. just go. Like I said. Yeah. It's, it's, it's getting better. It's good. And the we're still alive. And our friends might be here. Billy! All right. Switching over to Ermadin, who has taken an interest in these uh, big beer containers. Uh, you're checking into this, and uh, you can tell this, like, all, all these barrels that you've been finding are all the same type of dwarven beer um the mushroom, the mushroom beer, beer yep. eh? excellent well with that i'm gonna continue on with them all right <laughs> and uh are, are we continuing through this doorway well, I am at least. Rest of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go through. Great. I'm gonna see this ice fall. Be like, guys, you on the other side of this? Yes. Can we hear him? Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna dissipate take the wall. ice fall. Isn't that one of your abilities? Yeah. Hang on. Hey! hey. Found you! I have That's hands crazy. and a tail now. Don't ask me how. You just do you, man. Wow, did Jimothy... Yeah, see, did, you, did the dog tell you guys where we were? Like he was supposed to? Yep, he's a good boy. Yeah, good. and we went good in job, the opposite yeah, it's good. You didn't need to see any of that back there. It was uh, totally normal. Nothing crazy happened. No one stormed away like a petulant child uh, after having a magic box of pizza stolen from him after everything else that has already happened. Totally didn't happen. Uh, what happened with you guys? Same. 
alcohol. Um, some vampires, cool. some traps, some burning vampires, um, a lot of beer. Vampires, really? Yeah, we want to. You know, I haven't seen any vampires. I was gonna say, on this whole vampire uh, 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 vacation, I haven't seen one vampire. They're the worst, apparently. Everybody, roll me a perception check. Well, let's go find some more. Everybody. Who? Oh, my son. Got a six. This makes sense. Um, please. You hear a very familiar sound. You remember from the the days where you did your vampire hunting previously that there was a sound and a smell that came along with an open rift to the vampire intelligence. And this is... You, you get the very strong feeling that something like that is very close nearby. I will relay this information to the group. Oh my god, get out of my head! Uh, check my uh, sword, make sure it's better fastened this time. Yep. What did he re relay to us? Uh, there what seems to be danger nearby. Vampire intelligence. Alright. Well, let's go kill it. Which direction? Draw my trident. I assume it's... In this cave yeah, with all gonna, the mushrooms. Which, I'm gonna which guess direction? It's further in this cave. Let's go. Is that a flaming butthole? Yes. That's what it looks so like. That's inside, what vampires are. Yeah, inside the flaming butthole is this large. <laughs> Tentically oh, uh, looking thing that has eyeball stalks and looks basically like a big blob with, with eyeball tentacles all over it. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go up and start smashing. Then, it. What did I tell you about eating raw cookie dough? What? <laughs> Are we in way? As you approach, in your heads, you hear a message. Join me or die. Those right, can't be we'll our only two options. All right. Then I'm going to smash it. All right. Uh, what are you smashing exactly? <laughs> Everything. I, I assume one of the tentacles okay. or the, or the so eye. Reaching into the rift or waiting for something to pop out. Oh, no, nothing popped out yet? in its dimensional pocket for the moment. Oh. You can tell that the hole isn't big enough for it to come through yet. Okay, well, I'm going to grab two of my grenades and toss them through. Okay. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Just click, click. Or does everyone wait and see what happens? No, I'm not probably oh, it. no! I'm going back, I'm I'm to I'm back up behind this <laughs> wall over here a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to back up as well, because I don't think a sword's going to help this situation out. Wow. <laughs> I think I could still get a shot off at it right there. These tentacles could be angry. That's true. I probably can't see it from where I am, right? So I'm going to move where I can... Uh, you probably still wouldn't see it from there, from that that side. You'd have to get closer. Damn it. All right, well, I'll just assume that I'm up here. Are we not in initiative yes. so we can yep. kind of move around? Cool. Um. Well, if that's the case, after I throw them, I'm going to hide behind this okay. mushroom. And we all heard the join me or yes. die? Join you in what? Um... Oh, it's, yeah. It's fine, yeah, when he it's, said. it's fine with the vampire lords in your head. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what, what uh, he so said? The grenades go off. Uh, you see a bright flash as these things explode inside this portal. And when the smoke clears, it looks unaffected. <clears throat> 
Well, this just That's just grenade. our way of saying hello! No, this was our way of saying hello. I cast Fire Blast. <laughs> We're really, we really like fire a lot. All right, roll. Uh, what are the, what's the, is it a saving throw or is that a strike? I I have to I have to pull. I was in the middle of pulling it up when um when it was the time to do it. Hold on. Uh, what is it? Um, invocations. It is a level four invocation, which is that page. And we're looking for fire blast. Here we go. The uh, saving throw is dodge. Okay. As he's casting fire blast, I'd like to tell everyone to, uh, or I like to shout in people's heads. Uh, we need to close. The, we need to close the rift. We'll close it as I yell out to no one in particular. Don't we just blow it up some more? Uh, is that how you Why? close it? Why don't we just go through no. it? No. <laughs> no, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Haven't you been in enough holes today? I mean, I'm a ley line no. walker. I can no. I can walk <laughs> through it. That's a bad idea. I can smack him with my hammer. I would like to say that at, right right before I cast fire fire blast, I um uh I reach into my pack and without pulling out the jar, I unscrew the jar, take out one, screw the lid back on, take it out, and use the fire blast to light light it. Mm -hmm. I realize the jar replenishes so fast. I'd be a fool not to always be smoking. A B S baby. Uh, roll your fire damage, by the way. Uh, that is three D six. I'm also gonna knock it out of his hand as well. Enjoy. Fireball. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, when he does that, I do the exact same thing. I reach into my pack. I unscrew the jar lid. Take out one. Screw the jar lid back up take it out, and then I light it on the fire blast, because I believe the wall persists for a moment. Um, no, it doesn't. But, I mean, I'll I'll spend more magic to light I'll it on fire. I'll show you what the, uh, it looks like. I got a picture in the book. Ooh. I'm just going to glare at you before I do something about it. And I'm just going to look back at you and go like, look, man, you got the beer. I got this. What? You want some beer? No, no. I'm saying I'm saying it's a little beer, making sure I get the joint wet. <laughs> we're like, it's a little hypocritical of you to be judgmental of me for smoking this when I have never not seen you. Deep in your cups, sir. Deep, deep in your cups. That's that's because beer and mead and alcohol mix stronger. That stuff just makes you it shouts, stupid. I've changed my mind. Die. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want us to join him. Why? <laughs> and then what? You're still here? Uh, Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I want to know about your benefits package. I feel kind of insulted. Do you offer uh, severance? As you're standing there, 401k? Right next to the, the portal entrance, you see vampires just start to pour through. The, all these wild oh, great. vampires. I'm going to start killing them. And wait a minute, which way are I'm they? I'm going to start hacking and whacking uh, inside. Give me one second. All right, there you go. Several vampires. Uh, 
great. So. What a glorious day. God. Now, are we in an I'm going to say no, not still? yet. What would you guys like to do? I, I want to start okay. smacking. Everybody else? Um. Just keep on is, is, the, is, is the rift supported by anything? Uh, no, it's just a, an open space basically against the wall. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to chuck a couple of the um, signal flare, like shoot a couple of the signal flares I have at them. At the vampires? Yeah, like in the hopes of at least blinding them, or since they don't like fire and stuff. Okay. Um, what about uh, Rungus? I'd like to say to Cleese real quick. Uh, does ice work the same as water on these vampires? I've never tried. But if you heat the ice <laughs> up, it'll turn into water. Did yeah, someone but... say heat up? Mm. <laughs> nah, but I know. I guess I would have wouldn't have asked if I knew. Um. Oh God. Uh. I. Mm. I have an idea, but I think now's not the time. Uh, I'm just gonna hold my um, trident. I'm actually gonna put my trident back, and I'm gonna uh, use uh, like the summon okay. frost blade. Um. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire a high explosive arrow at the top of the cavern above the rift. Okay. And the wire. So, like, do you match 401ks <laughs> up to a certain point? I mean, I'm serious. Um, uh, I'm going through some stuff, and maybe a change is really what I need. All right. you should go no? the rift. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll send you my resume and we'll talk. All right. Uh, so, Rungus, you, you uh, summon your frost sword. Uh, Billy, you were throwing some... Uh, signal flares to signal try flares. to blind them at least. All right. Uh, you, sh you shoot your flares. Um, they seem... You know, they light up the area, but the light doesn't seem to affect them. Like, you, you get the feeling that it's not the correct style of light. Um, it was worth a shot. Yeah. Uh, Dwyer, you get no response. Uh, Ermidin, uh, you can roll to smash the first one as it heads and bolts right towards you. Woo! Oh, nice hit. 21. Ooh, roll your damage. Smash. Okay, another good hit. Uh, yeah, you, you you kind of buckle this one side in a little bit with a good smash of the hammer. Uh, however, it's still up and moving. Uh, then, let's see. So we got that one. We got this one will run past. This one will run past over to Dwyer. This one runs in. And then several more up here. And you can see more and more behind them. What the fuck? <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Um... Ermidin, this one's going to take a couple swipes at you. I'm going to parry. All right. I just need, you need to beat a six. <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing how I have a plus well, 13 to parry. One. Yeah. Perfect. 26 yeah. to parry. Close one. Uh, Steve, parry. And what is, is that another yeah. attack? I'm deflecting theirs. Uh, oh, okay. Sure. All right. Um, all right, another round. What's everybody want to do? 
<laughs> the kind of question uh, is that? Dude, what a, what about my high me. explosive? Oh, right, right, right. You threw the high explosive. Uh, up to the top of the cavern. Uh, do Roll the damage for that. Four. Oh, this is going to take a lot more than a joint. <laughs> uh, oh. Only eight? Oh, wait. Well, I guess I'm, if I'm shooting... I guess it would be like five of them, or four of them. Four high explosives. Yeah, because I shoot four, four, four arrows each time I take a shot. Okay. Uh, I'll let you either multiply that by four, or if you want to roll them separate, you can roll them separate to see what the total is. Uh, that we just multiply by four. Let's... All right. Separate. Separate. Uh, oh no! All right, all right, all right. For the for the chat. <laughs> Alright, so three more. Huh? Okay. Yeah. 26, 36. Mm. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh it <clears throat> does uh blast um quite a bit of uh, debris falling down, which falls down on top of several of these vampires, slowing them down a little bit. Um but it does not uh does not seem to bring the cave down and it does not um seem to affect the portal too much. Dang. All right, so we'll go back around. Uh, I know Erm's smashing vampires in the face. No oh, man. Ooh. Um. I think. Um. I think I've got enough for just a couple more of these. I, I think he's going to try to fire blast again and try to take out like this string. Oh, oh I guess I got to do this. Uh, this string right here, like casting it so that it goes down that path. Okay. Um, so let's see. What was the path again? Uh, yeah. Does my did my line show up? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little dudes. And they're gonna do dodge rolls. Uh, does it say what uh it what the number is their do the target number for dodge? Uh it just the the thing just says okay, um saving just throw rolls. dodge. I have to roll a strike. Got it. Okay. Um, what is that? Just a D D twenty. D yep. uh, D twenty. And then, do I get a? If I have spell yep. strength yeah, or anything strength. like that, does that so that gets added? Plus one. Uh, twenty. Dirty twenty. Uh, then that means only one of them uh, is able to dodge. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Perfect. Uh, that is three. Uh, 3d6 mega damage. 12. 12, okay. Uh, so several of them uh, definitely get burned by this. Uh, they they hiss and they growl, and you've certainly got eight of their attentions. But they are still all upright. Uh, Rungus. Okay, so I'm thinking... Um, okay, so I'm going to say the group. Uh, this is looking pretty bad! Um, I think we should fall back! And regroup! And maybe stand behind this book of absorbing things! The hooves! Hold the book up, but not open. Maybe we can put it into the book. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Just everyone needs a backup. We're going to die if we stand here and fight all the vampires. Probably all the time I have before. All right. Anybody responding? Nope. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and I'm That's already true. backed up. <laughs> all right. Uh, Billy. I'm going to um, 
chuck uh, some grenades towards the like by the portal, not directly into the portal. Okay. I want to purposely try to get it outside of the portal because I feel like if it goes in the portal, it's not going to destroy the portal. It's just going to go through the portal. Sure. And 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 by portal, I mean this is basically a rift. Right. So just so you know, a butthole rift. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. We're good. All right. Um, go ahead and well, roll me strike to make sure you get it in the area that you're looking for. Okay. Watch her land right <laughs> up <laughs> my and Dwyer's feet. Well, I knew it wasn't going to be a one because I've already rolled two of those. All right. Hold on. Where's my, where's my <laughs> dice? I'm going to do a directional dice. All right, tell me a uh, point, click to where you are aiming for. Uh, how do I do the long, the ping thing? Uh, if you have the select move uh, thing, the little arrow one highlighted, you just long click where you're pointing. Okay. Okay, so right here. Um, so it's going to be five this way. All right, so it actually gets tossed right here in front of you. Uh, what's the radius on this? Like, does it give you a blast I don't think radius? it says. Uh, let me see if I have it. No, it doesn't say. I don't see anything. It just says frag grenades, 2d6, MD. I'll assume that you're just out of range here, uh, but they do explode, kick up a lot of dirt and dust. Uh, it does kind of, it doesn't affect the vampires, but they kind of shy away from it, like not expecting it. Um, and if you have movement, you can use movement if you want. Uh, I am. Okay. Uh, Ermadin. I miss. Yes. Okay. You already rolled? I can re-roll. I'd love to re-roll. Right, go ahead and re-roll. I didn't see your first roll. <gasps> Alright, that's there it. There we go. Sweet. 22 right, damage. Take out the one that you've been smashing. Oh, Sweet. I knew it and would work. Please. Um, I'm going to let off. I'm just gonna start shooting at vampires. Okay. Just, uh, yeah. I guess I'll just yeah. I guess I'll just aim at this group of the three and just kind of volley at them. All right. Roll your strikes. They are at plus five, so 23, 10, 24, 29. Okay. Um, so you hit them with several of the hits, uh, but um, three of those arrows uh, actually pierce the hearts of these and stop these in their tracks. We shot. All right. I think that brings us around to the vampires. Oh, I also want to let Brungus know that uh, whatever idea he has seems like a good one because they'll definitely overrun us. <laughs> All right. And, and just as a refresher, please, you know that... Um, in order for vampire intelligences to um, actually form or, or transport into a world, they need enough uh, vampires underneath of their control to have the portal be big enough for them to enter. Through. Right. Right. And we already know this portal is not big enough. Correct. And the more vampires we kill, the 
less big it will become. Presumably. So you're saying not many is going to come through. I mean, there's already a many that came through. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's not that many. Uh, I just hope. We'll kill them all. I feel like he has another group <clears throat> just that exact same size ready that he that's copied and pasted somewhere in that black splotch that's going to be coming <laughs> straight down here. I, I feel like we've got like one more group and then a boss coming <laughs> in through. All right. With that. Um, Ermidon. You have yeah. one, two, three. Five of these guys swiping at you. One is a nat 20. Yep. Five? One misses completely. Three are hits, one's a nat 20. So you can parry the three if you'd like. Twenty-seven, twenty-four, twenty-one. 24, 21. Oh, okay. All those three are parried. The one, however, hits you. I disagree. <laughs> um, How much damage do I take from that? It's going to be... Eighteen. That's it. That's it? Oh, jeez. These are all the all wild right. savage vampires. I'll take it. I mean, eight, eighteen out of one thirty-four... Dwyer. Not that big. Two of these deal. are swiping at you. Um, both will hit, but you do have the ability to parry either of them. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'll. <clears throat> why not? Sixteen and three. Okay. The first one we parry. Uh, the second you do not. Um, and that's going to be eight points of damage to your armor. Ow! Uh, let's see. The others are still running up on to uh, where Billy and Rungus and all are. But meanwhile, hey, there's another crowd of them running through the portal. And you see yet still more of them. Oh, no! Behind. Who... <laughs> Who could have foresaw such a horrible disaster? I think that was actually more. I think that's two <laughs> groups of them. <laughs> okay. Do you know you can hold down the pace command? <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Pace, 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 pace. Uh, we'll run down the list again. Uh, Dwyer. Guys, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we should just be like, "Hey, er, er, King King Ermadin, I mean, sucks what's happening to your people, but um, I, I, I what? No, <laughs> this is too much for just the five of us. Shut up and keep on attacking." Fire! I don't know, the smashing is not working, Ermadin! You smash every single time you smash, they multiply by two! You need to get out of there! Do the math! I'm leaving! I'm gonna go ahead and um uh 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 uh, uh levitate myself out of there. Okay. And then not have enough magic to do I anything you, else. Uh levitate up? Uh, on top of one of these uh, mushrooms, you see what looks like a button. <gasps> Guys, I see a button. Just warning. What? Uh, I'm gonna instead of levitating over to them, I'm gonna levitate over to the the mushroom and grab the button. Oops, I'm still on mo the buttons measure. were built to be pressed. 
Okay, you twist my arm, I push the button. You push the button. Everything rewinds. Oh, who would have thought? (laughs) Then your uh, armor, in Dwyer, your armor is restored. Does anyone remember that it's been rewound? Uh, As long as it's kept at least loosely to what the um what the item was we all keep our items and memories okay so we remember that we were in the future that this was actually an event yep the past. and uh, it doesn't take you back 15 hours but it does take you back to when you first identified the portal and before all the vampires came through oh god um, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna look down do i still have the button what happened I'm gonna I'm gonna go ooh. What, what happened all right. to all these buggers I was about to kill? I push the button and we're back. Uh, Man, this sucks. I was kicking their ass. <laughs> I wonder, no, does the vampire does the vampire remember? Hey, vampire lord, this is around the time where you say uh uh join me or death, right? You're very This perceptive. time let him hear no, it let's was hear him out. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you don't remember that we already did this? These are unusual things you're saying. But if you wish to join me, I can grant you enormous oh. power. I'm going to do my best uh, high school poke high quarterback pose and try to truck chuck a grenade and clo- have a, you know all the rocks come down on it and shut it off. All right. Like separate it from us. And I'm just going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use a skill bonus on that. Okay. So, So full... Keep keep, keep, keep going. going. I'm going to... Strike plus what? To use the skill bonus. Um, Usually we just do that on skills, but uh, let's say we'll give you a plus five for that. Okay. So that means I'm going to roll a two. Right. (laughs) Uh, Thinking... There we go. It wants to roll. Five, okay. Okay. <laughs> Ten is enough to get it over in the area. Um, so... Oh, wait, don't my clicker not working? Oh, okay, wait. Now it's working. So you kind of get it, like, right there in front of it. Um, roll your damage. Roll! That damage. damage. 11. Okay, mm-hmm. that puts a pock mark there in the floor. It doesn't really do a whole lot. It doesn't seem to affect the portal at all. Do do I get the sense that he that the vampire lord does You're remember what just happened? Does not. Does not damn it because that my my plan hinged on that. I really wanted to go full Dormammu on his ass. I'm going to trap him in the next 15 minutes for all of eternity <laughs> until he closes the goddamn <laughs> rift. <laughs> but if he doesn't know he's going through it, then there's really no point um, of dragging that out. Anyone know how to close a rift? Does anybody know how to... How, how would I know if I know how to close um, a rift? Yeah, there's, there's a spell, spell for it. it. I'm a. L- I wanna. I wanna use this time to set up a couple of vampire traps with the uh, things I have in my bags. Okay. Uh, and actually, um, Klee. Or, or no, wait, who has it? Uh, Ermadin. Roll me a d20 when you get a chance. Uh, what kind of vampire traps are you building? Oh, I got I got a flashlight and a cross. Okay. Make a cross light. That's always good. Uh, and then, do I get my magic yes. back? Yeah, I guess that's about it, really. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Who else was right there? I think. Um, Erm wants someone to roll a d twenty for him. Was not there. Okay. Who wants to do it? I'll do it. I got it. I already got it in my hand. Okay. Erm, 
uh, right. 13, and it bounced nine. from a one. Mm. Oh, okay. Keep it in mind. <laughs> you, were, you were first, Mr. Goliath Man, and just as I said, it bounced from a one. So it wasn't a good I think uh, Billy roll to begin with. Uh, actually, I'm going to not say Dwyer, though. B B Billy and Cleese both also roll me uh, D20s. D20? Yeah. I will say if you, 19, if you have so an IQ. I'm sure this doesn't matter. Oh, 19. <laughs> okay, both of you. Uh, both of you guys. Uh, so you guys do remember that um, Ermadin found a book of spells when you guys fought the last vampire and Dwyer had a um, wand that he picked up. Dwyer, do you still have that wand? And what? What? No, 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 man. I just, I just found this on the side of the road. But if you want to hit it, you can. What? 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 <laughs> what? Does? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean this? And then I'll, 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 I'll pull it out. Yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then where's that, that spell book? You think maybe there's a spell in there that closed rifts? Could be. You think it's gonna be that easy? Worth checking. Oh, I sure hope Worth so. Worth try. Ermadin, give me, give me the book. Oh, okay, here's the book. <laughs> I, I take the book and open it and scan it for useful spells. All right. It is in dwarfish. <laughs> uh, Ermadin, you think you could help me? Oh no, I pull out oh, my my brand new Google Pixel Seven, and then I use Google Lens to translate <laughs> from Dwarvish to English. All right, Ermadin at least can type in chat. Does he want to translate the book? <laughs> yes, Ermadin, tell tell us we've already we've already taken agency away from you enough to take the book away. Would you Would you like us to also have you translate? Okay. Yes. He will so, translate. Uh, Mr. Goliath, man, do you have uh, uh, two D10s? Did you give me uh, a, a hundred-sided die roll, basically? Ooh, two D10s. Basically, he wants he wants a percentage. Yeah. He wants a percentage one's roll. Tens. One's going to be the the single digits. So like it'll be twenty-one or, mm -hmm. or whatever, or thirty-five or twenty-four. Something. Yeah, you know, like uh, Mr. Goliath, man, how some some okay. some D20s have. So the translation oh, is almost to the T. Um, nice. <clears throat> so what I need from you, what are what exactly are you doing now that you've heard the words to the spell? What? So it, there's only yeah, one, well, there's spell one spell on this spell book? that per pertains to this situation of, of closing a rift. Got it. Um. I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to go, I don't know, guys, this is really isn't my flavor of magic. I usually just burn shit with my hands. Um, I guess I point this thing like this and say the words, um, windshield, toaster, baconator. All right. Uh, you suddenly feel this tremendous amount of energy just being sucked like a vacuum. Oh, wait, sorry. You mm, mm, being mm, um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. funneled mm. through you. Hoovered. Ooh, funneled. Funneled's good. And blasted ah. the like you are a, a conduit of magic energy. Ah. Uh, it flares out, um, hitting the portal. And the blast of energy just is so bright that it blinds everybody for a couple seconds. And then the rift just begins to enclose on itself and shut. As it's doing that, I'd like to scream, join me or die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The rift is closed. Got the touch. <laughs> oh, guys, that was a lot easier than smashing them. You did it, Dwyer. You saved the day. I did it. I did it. And 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 Urbanin, you you didn't smash things, and you translated and saved the day. Yeah, Hurrah! you did it. 
and I'm gonna snatch my book back too. Yeah, okay. Oh. You crazy son okay. of a bitch, you did it. <laughs> it's cool. I know the I know the words now, so yeah. <laughs> that's all I needed. What matters most is we save the brew. Hey, hey, guys, look at me. Look at me. I'm the leader now. <laughs> huh? When you look at Dwyer, huh? he's what? full no, blue. Huh? What? Oh. I'm the leader now. <laughs> oh, what? You're boosting oh. again. Oh my god. What a what a crazy roller coaster ride of a day. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. oh, I will this one's going to be a ooh, crazy one for my journal. That's for sure. Oh. I can't uh, wait to read it. I, I don't think that you you're a leader though. It was Billy's idea. No, oh. Billy still holds. In my opinion. Oh, I mean, hey, you know, it's, it's 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 fine. Everything is back the way it should be. Exactly. I've got my best bud back. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere. Wait, me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Aaron? uh, yeah. No. What? No. I, I didn't go anywhere. And Urban has no, been well, here the whole time, and he's yeah, only gone for you, a while. You you were you were here for me in a tough time, and I just want to thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You know what? I appreciate all this. Beers all around. Yeah, I'll hold my mouth open. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's a champagne <laughs> bottle spray. You, you guys, yeah, you you guys see me sneaking into my um uh uh pouch and go. Oh guys, look! I seem to have found these lying on the on the floor somewhere. There's five joint. Would you guys want one? No. Sure. Ah, what the hell? Yes. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Just go easy on it, everybody, because those are the only ones I have. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? No, Mr. Goliath, man, the pizza, the pizza is still too, it's too soon. You can't bring that up anymore. It makes me sad. It's in the book. I want to take the book now that no one's paying attention to it anymore and put it back in my bag. All right. Is there anything you guys else you guys would like to do in, uh, in this area before heading back to High Karam? I mean, guys, there are a few nooks and crannies that we definitely could spend an entire episode next week going through. It's <laughs> true. You really wanted some to. more doors? Yeah, I mean, let's just go. The, the major thing I want to do is load up the tank with as many barrels as possible. Oh, I'm going to need a shipping fee. Roll, I'd like to propose that we it. take over the brewery. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's no one here. No. <laughs> that's what, sure that's what we'll, 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 we'll have Neville do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, we sent him off to be a slave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, just, <laughs> ooh, I'll bring people back from Armdom and have them run it here. There you go. Sweet. Restore your king. You can you can seed this world with your world. Yeah. Wait. I mean. Did you say yes. seed? I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did. I'm gonna blame it on the alcohol, but we'll let it slide this time. Anyway, point is, we should bring some of the brew back. Show show the king. Give it to town folk. And they'll probably just gift us this place, you know, and nobody else is inhabiting it. You do have a big truck, you can carry some stuff back in. I like the base better, though, really. I mean, this is cold and drafty. We don't have to live here. We just have to well, make we don't have to this. make this our base. We can just have, you know, my my dwarven kin run it for we us. We can just receive money every once in a while. Passive that. income. Money's good. Okay, I mean, I like income because sometimes I like to outgo. I mean, wealth doesn't really matter to me, but you guys can uh, 
try producing right, some. I'll take his share. For once. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can split my share up. I, I would... I would like to go, uh, uh, like, like sneak off behind Ermitin and pick up a rock, and then I'm gonna tap um, Rungus on the 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 shoulder. I'll use the very last bit of my 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 magic to 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 get his attention and and point at the rock and go, and then turn it into gold with fool's gold and go, hey Ermitin, I found gold. Maybe we should keep this place. Look. I'm going to inspect right. it. You have your mining ability. Let's see. Is it mining or gem gemology? Uh, I would take either. I, I have gymnastics. I guess mining will be... <laughs> I've got lots of gymnastics. <laughs> Is there a saving throw in Fool's Gold? Uh, standard is what it says. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, man. I love this. Right. This is great. This is everything oh I've ever God. wanted. Oh, like gold. You're I know. Convinced. Maybe we really should keep this place. Just leave this line around. <laughs> All right. You know what, er 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 Ermitin? I'm going to leave. The, you, are, you are the gold expert. I'm going to leave the uh, the... Figuring out how to get this place up and running and all that stuff, that's on you. You you find that gold. And then I'm going to look back at um, Rungus and just go. All right. Well, let me hold on to that and uh, I'll I, I oh, yeah. analyze it. Absolutely. See, keep see it. See how pure it is. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Just, I just that's found it right over there in the corner. This full gold last for. This is like an hour. Um. Let's see. It's 20 melees. Per level of the spellcaster, and I'm level four. Okay, a melee is about like, melee. Uh, well, full melee round is about a minute, so, um, yeah. so give minutes. or take, uh, Sometimes yeah, four, basically, hour and a half. So for an hour okay. and a half, it's legit. Wow, yeah, uh, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a bad influence on Rungus. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone else here a little worried that, you know, that portal just opened again? Just me? I'm, I'm going to is... pull out the book and read it. Like, is there any indication that the portal can be opened uh, again? I mean, it's always possible, but, but they would need something on this side to trigger that. Got it. Oh, well, no. No, Not possible uh, unless we have a traitor in the mist. Fuck yeah, give me another shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and <clears throat> we'll wrap up any miscellaneous details when we do. Leave me hanging here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep that face for while you finish the uh, the outro of all this. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, you you you. We'll wrap up the details of, of your business venture when we start season three. Uh, you guys work your way back to Ikaram. You report back to the king. Uh, you tell him uh, of the demise of his son and of, uh, of the baron there. You provide your proof. Uh, he's distraught, uh, obviously. Um, but he's thankful for the information and in, in knowing what ha happened uh, to his son. And that the uh, threat has been vanquished finally. Um, he he uh, instigates a a, a uh, you know a feast of mourning. You know a, a full day, uh, basically where they do a, a a drunken festival of of celebration and memory of his son, and all the so other, Mondays right, <laughs> and all the fallen <laughs> dwarves so much of, of the land. So much to tell this guy it's in the middle of the night. We're, we're um, not in the morning. With that, he uh, tells you guys that you can keep the uh, crates of silver weapons as you see fit. Oh, yeah, we definitely know where those are. <laughs> They're in your truck. <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a crate of silver uh, weapons? What did you get with the get That would have been really useful. Yeah, you we guys still are have in the them. truck. Right next to him. Oh, good. Were, were we. Were we. <laughs> 
Yeah, or are we really in the truck? I mean, really, yeah, this is all your fault. Them. There, are, <laughs> there are, is your illicit substances. Uh, he does allow you to take uh, Burmledore uh, as your own and and create this uh, enterprise that you, you want to. Uh, and then he also comes forward with a small box and uh, goes to Dwyer and says, For your great heroism, I give you this box. It's a very magical box. It's, uh, something we held very, very close in our family for a long time. Can you, can you see? I want to say, can you say the, can you say the part about my heroism again? Ah, you know what? Never mind. I'll hear it again, and then I push the button. Uh, the button doesn't seem to do anything this time. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, but can you go back and tell me about how the heroism? Okay, fine. You know what? Whatever. There I open is, the box. Uh, What's in it? Covered strawberries. Yum. Hey, wrong guys. What? Yeah. You want to share these chocolate covered strawberries with me? Oh, hell yeah. Later. He kind of leans over and says, every time you open it, it's a new treat. <laughs> I open cookies. it again. <gasps> I love Wait. cupcakes. Cupcakes? I, I thought you said strawberries. I, you know, <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> Do you, do you really have to question everything, Rungus? We got sweets. I'm going to rip the bottom of a cupcake off, place it on top of the frosting, and eat it like a sandwich. I'm going to pat I'm gonna pat Billy on the back and say, I know it was your idea, and he got all the credit. Sorry about that. What was my idea? The, the book and, and the wand. Oh, it just uh, somehow just remembered. We all did it together as a team, man. Do you guys get in here? Get get, get some of this. Get some of this mad magic sweets, and then I place the box on the ground, and I say, "Look, every single time you open it, it's something different. I've already done it like fifteen times." I open in the box again. Uh, this time there is uh, a small little apple pie in there. Oh, guys, split an apple pie with me, and then we can oh, open the box dude. again. Sweet. There's only one sweet I'll ever really want. Does the box have a button? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ermadin, the king comes over to your hammer. Yeah. And puts his hands on it and says a couple magical words. Which hammer? Which words? <laughs> <laughs> and chat, chat. Was that the hammer? Ermadin's hammer now do. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Are you? Oh um, shit! It pulsates. <laughs> Increase the smell of glitches I get. That oh, sounds like Mr. Goliath He's man says, on "Hold on, on. <laughs> He's got something." <laughs> Emits a bad smell. Develops a very um, uh, a sour personality. Wow! And while he's uh, picking out that. Uh, he also awards you with some gold that he promised you guys. Uh, I have to go back and read my notes and find out exactly how much that is. But he uh, brings that out for you guys Ooh. as well. How about reduce the cooldown on my uh, transport back to Armdom? Whenever you use the hammer, it does a random elemental damage. Okay. That's, that's pretty That cool. is fair. Just, just one. Wow. I do have an ally in chat. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. And with that, man. we will end this season. Ooh. We will pick up uh, in, in a few months with a, a season Whoa. three, and we will fill in the gaps of things that happen between then and now. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thank you, so wait, we, 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 we did it. We s you saved another Hooray! one. You won we won riffs. riffs. We said the riffs. we said this episode was going to be the finale, it was. and it was. I feel like I got gaslit out of <laughs> gaslighting people, and I don't we know how to feel about to that. <laughs> uh, but yes, thank you to our wonderful chat for your participation and helping uh, with the adventures. They literally wouldn't have done it without you, because you 
Nope. Put all the items into play yeah. that made that happen. <laughs> right. Uh, so, uh, tomorrow, Friday, 6.30, we have... Uh, oh, can you find me a raid, Armand? Um, we have... Yes, I can. No, I can't, because I don't oh, have... Right, right. I mean, I, I, I can look in cat. I can look in category and just pick blind, but I won't be able to tell if they're, like, our friends our or anything. Friends. Uh, you can pick blind. That's I right. know. It doesn't need to be a winner every time. I'll pick time. blind. Um, Browse by so, category. Uh, tomorrow, 6.30, give me solo and a cookie. Some Star Trek adventures uh, with an AI-generated GM. And uh, Simon, along with um, uh, Rufus. Uh, so they get into some crazy adventures while eating cookies. What kind of cookies, you ask? I don't know. You got to tune in and find out. But Sunday at 9 p.m., we return with Tomb of Annihilation, 5th edition uh, Dungeons & Dragons module, uh, where we may finally uh, make our way to uh, Ubu and uh, see what happened there and where the tomb is and, and whatever goodies we can find there. Monday at 8.30... Uh, we return with uh, Star Trek Bajor Rising. The uh, Federation crew has gone rogue in their efforts to help uh, free uh, the, the Bajorans from the Cardassian rule. Tuesday at 7 p.m. now, uh, we will continue with uh, Conan, Adventures in an Age Undreamed, <laughs> where Krom cares not for your worries or the worries of the players in the game. But things still happen. So check that out. <laughs> Wednesday, 8 p.m. Curse of Strahd, the land of Barovia. Uh, I missed last week's episode, so I have to catch up. Uh, uh, Armand, you got any details? That, uh, would, uh, where we're at with that? Uh, yeah, there was a, um, the, uh, the, the, there was a dead body. Um, uh, uh, they heard cats. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Echo hid in the closet. Um, TikTok told um, uh, the bashful to slap um, uh, uh, Frank because Frank was was losing his mind. Uh, but that was like retconned in after the fact because we thought it was it was funny and it would be we're, cool. We're allowed to just do that. Going, just slap him. Just slap him. I can't do TikTok, but but that that that's how I, I I thought. Um and uh yeah now they've got the gang's got a lot of decisions to make. There's a lot of at, at stake and and they don't even know if they want to help either of them, but they'll they'll have to figure it out. All right, uh, I did a raid real quick by the way. Um, <laughs> oh thank <laughs> it God. Seems like it was a little bit of struggle there. <laughs> oh, it, it, was, it was just a little so, bit. So uh, and then uh, next Thursday. Um, we'll see, actually. Uh, we talked about doing a couple things in between, because we're going get, to get set up for uh, Aliens Season 2. Uh, I think there's a couple little things we have to, to sort through to get that going. Um, but we talked about doing uh, either a recap, uh, basically rewatch of the last episode of the last season. Uh, and then we also talked about playing uh, the new levels of Aliens Fireteam Elite. So one of those two things will happen next week before we dig into uh, the game itself. And uh, so tune in for that. Uh, that was a lot of fun uh, last time. And uh, until then, bye, everybody. Bye. See you guys. Yeah.